Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, the only thing worse than DEI jobs in the marketing department, right, are these HR chicks, right? <laughs> and guys, there's all this cap and cope. All these chicks are like, yeah, we're in HR, and we're trying to help, and we're trying to make the workplace more productive. If you honestly believe that, guys. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. <laughs> and guys, if you worked anywhere, then you know by now that HR is usually about a bunch of angry B, B dubs, right? And you go there to, to even tell them anything. And guys, what do you hear? The streets. I'm a bitch from the streets. I get the money. I get the money. Bitch, give me what you got. <laughs> So guys, it turns out there's chicks that hate HR too. So guys, we're gonna go to dumpster fire known as TikTok and look at some of these people complaining about HR. But before we do, guys, like, subscribe, drop a comment, guys. Check out my locals, my second channel, the playlist at the end. And whoa, guys, of course, you know. <laughs> You know this person on the screen. I, I know you guys might not be able to understand what this person is saying. So of course, guys, I have to translate. Cool. Yeah, my ass cool. <laughs> hey guys, look at these glasses, man. Come on. Three reasons that HR sucks. Reason one, because they do not exist to protect employees or employee rights, and they pretend that they do. One of the biggest issues I had working with human resources was coming to the realization that I was not there to protect employees, which is what I came into human resources to do. But it became very clear very early on that that was not my role, and in many cases, I would get reprimanded if I did something to look out for an employee that go. was counter to the interest of the organization. So one of the things I think is the suckiest thing about HR is that they recruit people who are good people to work in human resources, telling them you're going to get to help employees and you're going to be there to serve employees. But then they get in there and they find out their primary function is to protect the institution even when they have to cover for crappy managers. Reason number two, because they actively undermine mad employees when they need them most. Look at that. That's the thing that I hate the most about human resources as a sector, that when employees come to them with concerns and issues is when an employee really needs them and that HR will actively go after the employee after pretending that they're there to help them. A lot of times they'll sit there and they'll intently listen and take notes and pretend that they're going to use the information to help you. And in some cases, they may even destroy the notes after the meeting because notes that don't exist are not discoverable in a legal action. Dang, and go. so they will actively, some HR people, look to cover up things and protect the organization no matter what, which I think is just horrible. And so that's the second thing that I hate is how they actively line up against employees at a time when employees need them most. And number three for me is because human resources lines up behind management no matter what they do. I've seen so many situations and from clients heard so many situations where people were actively engaging in illegal discrimination, whether it was sexual harassment, discrimination based on gender, race, disability. Like, and HR's default was to still try to figure out a way to line up behind the manager and discredit the employee. I think that's just horrible, and it is not an exception. It is the rule in human resources. And so that's my third thing that I really hate about human resources, which is why I think the way that it's practiced now, it sucks. So just to recap, the three reasons why I think human resources sucks are because they exist to protect the institution and not the employee because they intentionally lie to employees about their intention to help them when they come to them for help, knowing that they're not going to look out for them because they always line up behind management even when they're dead wrong. If you believe that you are being subjected to a discriminatory, toxic, and hostile work environment, please book a discovery.
No thanks. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, guys. So apparently, this chick worked in HR and learned all the ins and the outs and said, nope, 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 it's, it's trash. This chick is saying everything that us guys say, right? Everything that us guys say, right? But when we say it... How dare you! Right? And they cloak this under DEIA and you know, you're know you letting all these chicks in the work workforce, right? And here's the thing. If it was a bunch of men doing HR, then they would stand up to, uh, to wrongdoing. But these chicks, right, they don't want to lose their jobs. They're all broke. So they become this, this HR. That's how this chick is talk, was talking about. If it was a bunch of men in HR, it'd be different. Because men who stand on their morals and say, no, I'm not going to be a tool to X, Y, and Z, right? Guys, man, there is all these people. I'm not shocked. HR and my company is trash. Someone says, uh, I learned that the hard way. Now I don't talk to HR. Someone says, and when you are an HR professional, and you get burned by the same HR colleagues right there. Someone says, HR is a last resort. The only reason why that I engage them is to show that they're aware of what happened uh, because I have to. HR is not your friend. Yeah, guys. You guys are hashtags. Hashtag HR. Hashtag work environment. Hashtag I can help. Please. Hashtag keep walking. Hashtag workplace culture. Clown world. So I was watching a video yesterday where this lady was talking about why you should never go to HR if you are having issues at work. And I could not agree with her more. You should not go to HR if you are, ha if you are having a problem. And let me tell you why. A couple years ago, I started a new job and immediately, and I do mean immediately, I knew that it was not the job for me. However, because I was in need of a job, it was a, a good job, great salary, I decided just to try it and push through. Immediately after starting the job, I started getting bullied, and I mean bullied to like another level. There it is, guys. There it is. So she got this job, and I guarantee she's probably like a nurse. Or whatever, and right when she got through the front door, a bunch of chicks took a look at her and said, I'ma kill your bitch ass, bitch! <laughs> and then she came in the next day. Kelly, I'ma kill you, you fucking whore! <laughs> <laughs> and she said, Can you guys please leave me alone? I hope you die of AIDS, ho! <laughs> That's what chicks do to each other at work, man. Look at that. I would go home and I would talk to my family and friends about it. And they would always tell me just to report it and do this and do that. But I always knew that HR is not your friend. Do not ever believe HR is your friend. HR is always, and I do mean always, going to work on the side of the company. Against better judgment, I decided to finally go to HR, which I totally regret it. Look at that. I knew better. I mean immediately. I mean immediately they turn they tried to turn that table so quick real quick it started off with them acting as if they were doing this investigation and then surprisingly they put me on a performance plan they went back to work that i did like the year prior and started finding all these mistakes and all these problems that all of a sudden they had with my work and when i say that i was being bullied i mean bullied to the point where not only was it just another employee, but then the same employee would recruit different teams of management to join in with her. Even when I reported it, again, because I was, it really did no good. And I, I guess for me, the most surprising thing of the whole thing is that other employees were telling me that this wasn't her first time doing this. Look at that. Like this girl literally, from what I was told, had a history of bullying or harassing new hires. So this isn't something that like my boss, my supervisors, they this wasn't something new to them. They were fully aware. Even when I had a meeting with my manager or supervisor, he even expressed to me that she had had a discussion about this before in the past. So I guess for me, I was just a little surprised that they would handle it this way, knowing that she had a track record of doing this. So we aren't surprised, right guys? Us guys over here aren't, right? Guys, put in the com comments how often do you see all these chicks 
fighting each other at work, right? All of us just stay out of it. Just whatever you do, if you're having an issue at work, just find another job. I quit in 2022 because I was literally, and I mean literally, about to jump off a bridge. That's how bad it was. Don't ever think that HR is your friend. They are not. They are always going to work with the company and for the company. If you do decide to go to HR, keep a paper trail. Every time you have a meeting, follow up in the email about what that meeting was regarding. But trust me, don't go to HR. There, the, there you go, guys. You guys, she has 358 comments. And the majority of them are all saying the same thing. Someone says, this happened to me and it affected my, my pregnancy to, uh, to the point to where I had to terminate. Yikes. Someone says, HR is not your friends. They do the company's dirty work. Someone says, you are 100% right. I was recording my meetings and I had to appeal the decision. Look at that. Someone says, I totally agree. Anytime that I've gone to HR, things got worse and nothing was done. Next person does HR protects companies' interests. Look at that, guys. Guys, keep your head down. Leave stuff alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave people alone. Try and be left left alone. Right? Have a FU fund so you can quit your job. If if people start messing with you and you can live for six to eight months or to a year and if things get crazy guys just quit so all right you guys this is aj i appreciate you guys like subscribe and i'm, I'm out of here guys have a good one